There's a time when the operation of the machine becomes so odious, makes you so sick at heart that you can't take part. You can't even passively take part. And you've got to put your bodies upon the gears and upon the wheels, upon the levers, upon all the apparatus, and you've got to make it stop. And you've got to indicate to the people who run it, to the people who own it, that unless you're free, the machine will be prevented from working at all. Welcome again to Mayhem and Madness. I am the master of many things, and today is Saturday, December 17th, 2011. We'll start off the day, as always, with the daily depopulation quote, and this is quite horrifying. The First and Second World Wars were designed to kill millions, but they were not successful enough, hence the new methods outlined in the Global 2000 report, which said, the world is populated with too many redundant people who must not be allowed to procreate and consume scarce natural resources. This was from the Committee of 300 Commission Cyrus Vance to write a paper on the subject of how to bring about such genocide. The paper was produced under the title Global 2000 Report and was accepted and approved for action by former President James Earl Carter, Edwin Muskie, then Secretary of State, and for and on behalf of the U.S. government, quoted by Dr. John Coleman, former intelligence agent of the British M-16. Vile, disgusting, and disturbing. Now, going back in time to this day in history, on this day, 1903, near Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, brothers Orville and Wilbur Wright made the first successful sustained flights in an airplane, Orville first gliding 120 feet through the air in about 12 seconds. Moving along to the status of the economy, Moody's Investor Services on Friday downgraded Belgium's credit rating by two notches, citing strains on Eurozone countries as they try to finance their heavy debt loads amid the regional finance crisis. The ratings agency cut Belgium's local and foreign currency government bond ratings to AA3 from AA1 with a negative outlook. The ratings remain investment grade, however. Moody said the downgrade comes as soaring borrowing costs strain the finances of heavily indebted countries that use the euro, like Belgium. The strains will also make it difficult for Belgium to reduce debt and rein in spending. Other factors include the impact crisis is having on Belgium's economic growth and concerns about the small nation's banking sector. And here in the United States, the Senate has passed a two-month extension of the Social Security tax cut, as well as additional unemployment benefits. Moving along now, some news about world events. Russian authorities seized uh, a consignment of radioactive isotope so sodium-22 at a Moscow airport from a passenger who was traveling on a flight to Tehran. Customs Service uh, has said the test showed that so the sodium-22 could only have been obtained as a result of the work of a nuclear reactor. Uh, the criminal inquiry has been opened and the materials transferred to prosecutors. Customs was alerted by a warning system at the Sheremetevo airport ahead of the Moscow to Tehran flight that background radiation in the departure hall was 20 times above the norm. The passenger's bag was then searched. 18 metallic objects of industrial origin were found packed into individual steel boxes. The test uh, then found that the objects were, in fact, the radioactive isotope sodium-22 that has been machine-produced. No further details were immediately available on the consignment or the identity of the passenger who was carrying the materials. Russia has uh, relatively close ties with Iran and built its first nuclear power station in the southern city of Bashar. Moscow has delivered the nuclear fuel uh, for the reactor. Moscow has ex echoed Western concerns about the nature of Iranian nuclear program, but stopped short of publicly accusing Tehran or Tehran of seeking atomic weapons, and always said that the standoff should be solved by diplomacy. Experts have long called for tight controls against nuclear smuggling so that Iran cannot get a hold of materials it is barred from obtaining under the UN Security Council sanction. Moving along to humans m losing their minds, Governor Rick Scott on Thursday called for the suspension of the president of Florida A&M University until the completion of a 
criminal investigation into the death of a marching band member who collapsed in November, possibly after a hazing-related beating. Scott made the decision after investigators who were looking into the death of a band member, Robert Champion, came across possible fraud and misconduct involving university personnel and said the university's board chairman, Solomon Badger, uh, he said Scott did not provide details but thought it best that James H. Ammons temporarily stepped down until the investigation was concluded. The mere fact there is possible fraud out there, he feels that it is in the interest of everyone concerned the president step aside, Badger said. It didn't seem like much, uh, such an unfair request. It is an unpopular request, uh, I'll tell you that. Badger said that the university's board would take up the measure on Monday. The board voted last week to reprimand Ammons, but did not suspend him. Champion, a, a major drummer, uh, died November 19th in Orlando after a suspected hazing ritual by other band members inside a parked bus in a hotel parking lot. Scott ordered the investigation by the state's Department of Law Enforcement. And police say that three people have died in an office building housing the Southern California Edison Utility Company. Police Chief Dennis Smith says a gunman opened fire in the building on Friday, killing one woman and a man before killing himself. Moving along to news about our contorting earth, lava from Kilauea's remote Piao O vent has uh, again reached the ocean within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park boundaries at a spot scientists have named the West Ka Ali Ali Ocean Entry. Scientists also confirmed that a lava delta is being formed at the base of the sea cliff at West Ka Ali Ali and are monitoring the area very closely. Lava deltas can collapse with little warning, produce hot rock falls inland, and generate large local waves. The ocean entry site is located near the park's eastern border and is the first time lava has entered the ocean within the park boundary since 2007. Recent ocean injuries have occurred outside the park to the east, mostly through private land. The Icelandic Meteorological Office SIL earthquake monitoring system has picked up approximately 1,300 tremors in Iceland in the past November, the largest of which measured 3.5 on the Richter scale and hit the Katla caldera on November 8th. Most of the earthquakes last month had their epicenter below the Midrasjökull ice cap which covers a volcano Katla. Uh, the seismic activity there is caused by geothermal boreholes. A series of minor earthquakes occurred uh, on Monday night, and around 20 tremors were picked up by sensors, the largest of which was close to two points on the Richter scale. And seismic tremors at Anak Krakatu have decreased from about 1,000 a day down to around 550. Indonesian officials say the mountain summit, however, is still trembling violently, and the volcano is still emitting a dense, low-lying cloud of smoke. Geologists say the, clo uh, the cloud emissions from Anak Krakatau has reached about 100 meters in height. The Geological Disaster Mitigation Agency in Indonesia said the volcano remains on level 3 alert and a two-mile, uh, two-kilometer, rather, exclusion zone around the volcano remains in place. And now, weather wicked and wild. A storm has battered northwestern France, leaving hundreds of thousands without power disrupting rail traffic and grounding a ship that spilled oil off the coast of Brittany. There are no immediate reports of serious injury or significant damage as Storm Joachim moved further inland to Switzerland and Germany. Interior Minister Claude Gaunt said French, uh, France had escaped largely unscathed from the storm. It seems there have been no victims, he said, adding that a certain number of people living in low-lying areas in Brittany have been evacuated because of the storm. Officials said 400,000 homes had lost electricity, mainly in the west of the country, but by midday the number of homes without electricity had fallen to 330,000 as workers scrambled to restore electricity, uh, the electricity infrastructure. The storm had been battering the area since Thursday night with wind gusts up to 133 kilometers per hour and waves up to 7 meters high. The storm caused a cargo ship, the TK Bremen, flying the Maltese flag to run aground and spill some oil in the sea off Brittany earlier in the day. The level of pollution, uh, however, was said to be limited, and uh, the regional authorities are deploying equipment to try and contain the slick and empty the ship of about 190 tons of fuel and 50 tons of diesel. All 19 members of the ship's crew were evacuated by helicopter. Local prosecutors in Brest said they had opened an investigation into the spill 
and train traffic was disrupted. More than uh, more than 15 trains canceled in central France, and significant delays. The French rail authority said the storm had little effect on international flights, but the strong winds did force some tourist sites to close, including the park at Chateau de Versailles near Paris and the famed Christmas market in Strasbourg. The storm was moving its way inland today, with Swiss authorities reporting it caused a train to derail in Switzerland, lightly injuring three people. The flash floods triggered by tropical storm have killed nearly 436 people in the southern Philippines, with many more missing across vast regions, officials said uh, today. Lamel Guanda, head of a uh, rescue team in Cagayan de Oro City, told the Associated Press that at least 40 bodies were recovered there. Mayor Lawrence Cruz of nearby Iligan uh, said that at least 15 people were killed in his city alone and that many more were missing. Those missing included a radio broadcaster who was swept away while trying to save his neighbors. Cruz said uh, the chief of the National Defense Rescue Agency. The floods were triggered by tropical storm Washi, which dumped heavy rains over southern Medino region overnight. Ramos said the dead included at least nine people in a single village in Leneo del Norte province, with floodwaters surging in the middle of the night and quickly reaching rooftops, trapping many residents and causing them to drown. Massive flooding has been reported all over the region, especially in Iligan City and Cagayan de Oreo City, Romo said, adding that tens of thousands of people sought shelter in high ground. Back-to-back -back typhoons in September had left more than 100 people dead in the northern Philippines. Now, news about our toxic world. Toxic debris is now arriving on the beaches of British Columbia, Canada. The area warned about radioactive materials being handled or picked up by pets. The debris is moving much faster than originally uh, expected. According to scientists, originally it would take one to three years, but the debris seems to be on a fast track to spread the Fukushima disaster to the west coast of North America. The floating island of toxic debris is estimated to be twice the size of Texas. Now, last but not least, the ever lulzical Hacker News. Square Enix stated yesterday that somebody may have gained unauthorized access to a particular Square Enix server and took its member service offline both in Japan and the United States. The company clarified that 1.8 million customer accounts had been affected. The company said it noticed the unknown parties had access to the server for its free Square Enix members site on Tuesday afternoon and decided to shut down the service the same day. Users register on the server with their email address and sometimes their name, address, and phone numbers. The server holds no credit card information, the spokesman had said. <coughs> Microsoft range of Windows phones suffer from a denial of service attack bug that allows attackers to reboot the device and disable the messaging functionality. A malicious SMS sent to a Windows Phone 7.5 device will force it to reboot and lock down the messaging hub. A WinRumors reader, Khaled Salama, discovered the flaw. WinRumors said tests revealed that the flaw affected a variety of devices running different builds of the mobile operating system. A Facebook chat message and Windows Live Messenger message will also trigger the bug. And Global Sign said on Tuesday that the SSL certificate and key for GlobalSign.com may have been exposed after a hack on an external server in September. However, the company said that after investigating the breach, it had found no evidence of book certificates being issued following the hack. A hacker known as Komodo Hacker compromised the certificate authorities, including Komodo and DigiNotar. I have access to their entire server, got DB backups, their Linux tar zipped and downloaded. I even have pirate key of their own globalsign.com domain, the hacker said in a paste bin at the time. The investigation revealed that the compromise was littered, limited to a peripheral web server hosting the CA's website and did not affect the part of its network that deals with digital certificates. That is the news. That is the mayhem. Good Lord, it's Saturday and we're still getting hammered.